This program is brought to you by Stanford University. So this is the newly released iStanford application 2.0 and it consists of five applications this time. One new application was added. The applications are the directory, athletics, maps, events, and courses. Now, the directory pretty much does what it says it does. You can open it up and search for anyone in the Stanford directory, whether they're a student or a faculty um, or a staff member. And it finds them, um, and you can click their name and get any information about them that's publicly available. In this case, I just looked up myself, and it says that I'm a computer science undergraduate and has my email address. And if I want, I can, if I wasn't me searching for myself, I could create, my, create, create a new contact right here from the phone so that that contact information gets saved to my phone. Now we also added some cool features in that you can search through advanced filters. So I can search based on someone's email or someone's phone number um, and get the same results. The next application is Athletics. This one was very much redesigned from the first version, but it essentially lets you do the same things. You can get news for you know, the basketball team, but we also can see their scores. So we can see all, all, all the games they've played this entire season. Um, and likewise, one of the, one of the features we added um, to this new version of, of the athletics application is live scores. So you can see here that there's a lot more detail about a score. You can see the uh, score per period. You can, you can also see the game clock. The next application is the maps application, which essentially lets you interact with the Stanford campus map. Now, the application also lets you use GPS to locate yourself if you're actually outside and you have a GPS enabled iPhone. So you can search for a building like Gates, and once you find it on the campus map, you can also click it to get more information. So you can find the address of the building, and you can also see a picture of the building, which is really helpful if you're wandering outside and haven't really seen the building before. The next application, which is actually a new one in this, in this new version that we just released, it's called Events. Events lets you look by category at any event that's in the events.stanford.edu list. So you can go by category and you know, look for events that are marked as dance events or, or film events or lectures, or you can just go look and click the All button, pretty much look at every, every event that's in the Stanford Events database. So I can go get information about the Stanford breakfast briefing. It tells me the description of the event, what time it is, where the location is, who to email and who to call. You can also look by day to look at kind of a schedule of all the events and also by month to check out ahead of time what's happening on campus. And the last application here is the courses application, which people are familiar with, but essentially lets you look at the course catalog, the Stanford course catalog. You can look at all the, all the schools on campus, the engineering school, and you know, look at any, any department, like the computer science department, and then furthermore, look down to a specific class. Let's say I want to learn more about CS106A, which is programming methodology. This will show me all the detail for CS106A at Stanford. You know, when is it offered? What term? What days is it offered? Who teaches it? What time is it? And also, where is it being taught? And maybe I want to learn more about this teacher or contact, um, contact the teacher. I can click his name, and it pulls him up in the directory. So this sort of integration becomes really handy for people who, who are on the go, but they want to they look something up or, or, or contact somebody very quickly.